What's going on, football fans? So, doing another video today to talk about last night's game between the uh, Titans and the Ravens. And if you didn't watch the game, then you don't know that the Ravens were absolutely dominated by the Tennessee Titans. I'll say that again. The Ravens were absolutely dominated by the Tennessee Titans. So, in two weeks, the Tennessee Titans have beaten New England at home and Baltimore at home. I mean, so, do you really think they're going to have trouble with Kansas City or Houston? That's a big question to think about, and obviously we'll see what happens next week. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was... It was absolutely insane how well the Titans played against the Ravens. They gave the ball to Henry a shitload of times. And he was getting 5, 5, 10, 1, 10, 5. He was having a couple bad runs, and then he would have three or four good runs. A couple bad runs, three or four good ones. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Adrian Peterson. And the, you know, I mean, the Titans did exactly what they needed to do. They needed to keep the ball in their hands and make the Ravens beat them through the air because, let's be honest, that's not Lamar Jackson's best point. That's not his best attribute. His best attribute is his legs. And they didn't let him run wild like most teams do. And within the first quarter, you could see that Lamar Jackson was shook. And it was absolutely amazing. And it's still amazing how well the Titans have been game planning for their playoff games. And I think credit needs to go to Mike Vrabel. Uh, first time head coach brought the team to the playoffs last. No, I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that. But still, he's got two road playoff wins as of right now, which is awesome. I mean, I, there's nothing more to say except for that's awesome. And hats off to Mike Vrabel. Uh, the Belichick coaching tree keeps looking better and better. Um, so it, it just and, and and side note, that's why people like Joe Judge are getting hired. Bless you. Those why people like Joe Judge are getting hired by teams because they're in that Belichick tree. They're in that coaching tree. Joe Judge was just a wide receivers coach. And, okay, wide receivers were okay for New England but not great. But after the season's over for New England, he gets a job. And, you know, I mean, it's because of the team. It's because of the coach. And Mike Vrabel is helping out that by winning road playoff games, and especially beating the mighty Patriots and the mighty uh, Ravens. You know, you got two guys. He's beating Tom Brady and Lamar Jackson in the same postseason. Imagine if he beats Patrick Mahomes. I mean, that's probably going to be one of the best stories that we've had in a long time. So, getting back to the game, the Ravens were off their game. There was miscues. There was turnovers. And you know what? The one thing that Lamar Jackson hasn't had in the last three months is adversity. He hasn't had any trouble with any of these teams. And if he had a little bit of trouble, he was playing against teams that they didn't take seriously, and they would be able to come back. I think they did the same thing here with the Titans, and the Titans didn't let him come back. So, I mean, you know, Lamar Jackson should win the MVP. I don't know if anyone's going to change their mind now because of what happened in the first in this game here. I don't think it should because Lamar Jackson had one of the best years ever as a two-way quarterback. So, I mean, he was just like Cam Newton in 2000, you know, when they made the Super Bowl. And he won an MVP there, and I think Lamar Jackson deserves the MVP here. But let's be honest. The Ravens are out. The Patriots are out, and the Saints are out. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy start to a very fun and exciting postseason for the NFL. Um, looking forward to today... I, uh, the Chiefs-Houston game, I don't know what to think there. From a better, I'm maybe thinking at the total over-under there. I don't know if Kansas City is 10 points or 11 points better than Houston in the playoffs. In regular season they are, but the playoffs are a totally different story. And when you get to those double-digit spreads, it just I just don't like them. I never have and I never will. Um, and then Green Bay versus Seattle. The rivalry, the you know, the slugfest they're gonna have. I just it's gonna be tough for Green Bay, but I think they do pull it out because Russell Wilson it's 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 almost like whoever's at home is the team that wins in the Seattle Packers 
uh, rivalry. So you got to go with the Packers here. Packers have had a great, great off se- or season this year. Um, the bye, they might come out a little bit shaky, but I think they'll be able to rebound well. And like I said, it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens because the 49ers are hosting the NFC Championship. Now it's just who they're going to play. And I would love to see, I'd love to see both matchups. Seattle versus uh, San Francisco or Green Bay versus San Francisco. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy the games. Get with your friends, hang out, enjoy the games. And, uh, you know, hopefully we gotta, we'll do a video later on tonight because the one game doesn't end at like 11 o'clock here or so. Um, but we'll do a video, and uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys can enjoy the games. Absolutely stunned about the Ravens, but hey, good job, Titans. My brother-in-law is a Titans fan, so always got to be pulling for him. So we'll see you guys later, and enjoy the games today.